Hello there, Mark Sabatella from Mastering MuseScore here. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to make invisible items in your score truly disappear. Now, invisible, of course, you might think it's going to make it disappear, but as you've probably discovered, if you select an item and make it invisible, uh, it actually just shows up gray on your screen. So you can see that I have all these petal markings that I've added to my score and I've set them invisible, but they're still showing up in gray. And the chord symbols also are showing up in gray. Now none of this is going to appear if I print the score or export it to PDF or upload it to MuseScore.com, but if I just want to declutter my own view, I might want to make those invisible items completely disappear. So before I had to do, I show you how to do that, let's make sure we know how to make things invisible in the first place. If I want to make that tempo marking disappear, I can either click the, the un, you know, uncheck the visible checkbox here under properties and that makes it grayed out, or I can use the keyboard shortcut V, which toggles the visibility of things on and off. All right, now that I have all these invisible items, let's see how to make them go away. What I'm going to do is make sure nothing is selected. I can just click an empty area in the score or press escape a time or two. And with nothing selected in the score, I'm going to come over to the properties panel and you'll see there's an eye icon next to the word invisible. That's telling me that invisible items do show up. I want to close the eye. And now you'll see all the invisible items in my score have in fact disappeared. You can also get there from the view menu. You'll see under view there's the show item here and there's a sub menu here that controls whether invisible items show or not. You'll see there's also controls here for whether formatting things like uh, line system breaks and page breaks, whether the frames or the margins appear. You can control all of those things. So if I want to turn invisible items back on, that's how I can do it. So that's how you can control whether invisible items in your score that maybe you've added because you want to hear their playback effect but you don't want to see them. That's how you can control whether or not they're actually visible to you on screen or not.